Well, we're coming to the end of this hike. Tekawatha. I think that's pretty close to how I'm supposed to call it. I got a hour 10, 2.6 miles. And uh, how'd you feel about that? It was pretty, I liked it. I thought it was pretty neat. I mean, there are a lot of changing sites. Yeah. Uh, this is not a solo hike in the sense of, don't come here for this sole purpose, do two or three hikes. But, uh, <laughs> crazy, but I like you. Yeah, so uh, Ryan, what was that fun conversation you had? When? Just now. Uh, I was just saying hi to the people and then the lady, you know, the guy was like, sup bro, I said, hey, what's going on? He's like smoking a cigarette and then the lady comes out of the bathroom. She's like, uh, you know, I, I can't use the restroom. The people are burning wood inside the toilet. I'm like, yeah, I know, I saw that when I first got here. She's like, you know, I, you know, kids will be kids, I get it, but there's a time and a place. And I said, I, come on now. She liked that one. She liked that one. Well, this is what the trailhead looks like. And, uh, little picnic area, I guess. All right, so we're done with this hike. Ryan, you got any comments about this hike? This is a good one. That, that bridge is worth coming here alone. People are fishing, people are riding their bikes, and people are hiking. Uh, but the bridge between Tekawitha and uh, John Muir, or whatever. Not John Muir. No, but it sounds I, like... It's not keep, the John Muir. <laughs> it keeps making me think of that uh, when I read this guy's name in the Forest Preserve. There's a bridge connecting the two over the Fox River, and the bridge is really cool to, to hang out on and, and spend some time on. So I'd say come on by. It's a solid little hike, short one, uh, family friendly, not too strenuous at all. So check it out. Take it with a forest preserve. Take it with you. <laughs> you can do in time and distance? I got an hour and 12 minutes and 2.9 miles. Right. I also I had 2.6 miles, but yeah, you I went twice. Around. You went twice through that. Oh, we didn't talk about so the not the path of knowledge is part of the spaghetti bowl paths. It yeah. just leads to a bunch of other paths that then come out to the main circle. So if you do come out here, the main circle loop is that uh, kind of old pavement. Uh, inside of that balloon are a bunch of uh, side paths. I actually recommend the path that you found, Ryan. I like that better. So if you find that graffiti, the path of knowledge as we're calling it, it's a little dicey in the beginning, but uh, uh, after that dicey part, it opens up and it's a pretty cool field. It's a much nicer hike, bunch of glacial rocks and people have been doing some rock stacking. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, it's a lot more interesting than continuing along that old paved path. Yeah, I agree. The size of the path of wisdom, it looks like, like a deer path. So yeah. skinny. And then you come out to the to the primary path again and do a crossing on the trolley line and then up around to the memorials. Yep. And then back back across the bridge. That's the way. So Thanks for joining us. Be sure to like and subscribe. Peace.